Fairfax Mars. This story's been out for a couple of days. Amazingly, scientists are this far behind in times. More than 200 miles beneath the U.S. lies a vast reservoir of melting carbon the size of Mexico. That's the extraordinary conclusion of a new study <laughs> involving the world's largest array of seismic sensors. Scientists now think that Earth's upper mantle may contain 100 trillion metric tons of CO2, dwarfing annual emissions by a factor of 10,000. We might not think of the deep structure of the Earth as linked to climate change above us, but the discovery not only has implications for subterranean mapping, but also for future our future atmosphere. It says Sash and that's not gonna happen with the Royal at Royal Holloway. Uh Doctor Sash H, uh, excuse me, where have you been? I've known for a couple of decades, and I'm not a scientist. I've known that the carbon, we uh, get the majority of our carbon dioxide, most of it, from under the ground, from inside the earth. Most of it does not come from humans, it comes from volcanoes. Where the hell have you been? Releasing only 1% of this CO2 in the atmosphere would be the equivalent of burning 2.3 trillion barrels of oil. The existence of such deep reservoirs show how important is the role of deep earth in the global carbon cycle, Dr. H added. But carbon dioxide would only, could only, would only be released very gradually into the atmosphere through volcanic eruptions, the geologist said. Duh! Rush Limbaugh said this 20 years ago. And he's not a scientist either. The reservoir of carbon formed as the tectonic plates of the Pacific Ocean were wedged underneath the western U.S., the CO2 and H2O dissolves within the carbon, it melts. Dr. H used the vast network of 583 sensors that measure the plant's vibrations to map the Earth's subsurface. In December, scientists discovered a river of molten iron as why is the UK silently hurtling toward Canada? Fortunately, it's 1,864 miles beneath the surface of the planet. Uh, Dr. H. Now, I didn't know there was a pool of molten carbon, but I knew that's where we were getting most of the carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. Well, duh. You know, Rush Limbaugh cited those statistics a long time ago. And, and you scientists haven't figured this out until now. That there's most of our carbon comes from underneath the, uh, ground? How is it Rush Limbaugh knows about this and you don't? It's because you are mentally disordered liberal, that's why. You, uh, don't care about facts. You only care about, uh, dismantling capitalism. Most of these people are not scientists. They care about dismantling capitalism, and they'll do it any way they can. Anyway, that's Mad Science Update. Number one or number two, depending on which one, which I release first. 
Come on, thanks for watching.